Thank you very much. I heard um, I heard many of you earlier asking, what are you going to do about it? Let me ask you, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to support AB 696? Thank you very much. We have, a, we have a serious problem in our state. And for the first time in our long and illustrious history, our government spent more money on prisons than higher education. Even close. $2 billion more on our prisons and our higher education. What are we getting for $11 billion? Total failure. 70% of our inmates go back to prison within four years. 60% of our inmates are functionally illiterate. 50% of our inmates get no rehabilitation of any kind. The direct, the direct result of these increased expenditures in the prison industry complex in California, because that's what it is. It's a growing monster out of control. But the direct result of the increased expenditures in prisons is a reduction in investment in higher education. As I've traveled California over the last 12 months, I've heard story after story after story from young students, much like you. Like my family, I was the first one to go to college. I'm a proud product of the UC system. Priority. Yeah. 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 My three younger brothers are okay. proud products of the Cal State system. Yeah. Yeah. And the community college system. Yeah. Yeah. What, I've heard, Sorry, what I've heard around this state is that too many of you are faced <laughs> with bad choices. Take a second or third job to stay in school. Not, not let your younger brother or sister go to school and wait. Maybe some of you have to drop out because you received an IOU from the state, the UC system, the CSU system, telling you in the middle of the school you had to pay 32% more. Yeah. Increased increase class sizes, lower class offerings, 25 to 50,000 of you to be turned away from the UC system to the CSU system in the next four years. <laughs> there, there is a better Thank way in California. Yeah. There's always been a better way in California, the place where people have come for 200 years to have a better life, to have a better opportunity to educate our children. We've lost our way in California. I'm just proud to stand up here with George Lakoff, the architect. <laughs> Because we need to take back control of our government, not vested in a small minority that believes we shouldn't be investing in young people. We have to change the two-thirds vote requirement in California. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry to say this to my party leaders, not just to pass a budget, but also to raise taxes and revenues that we need to raise. Ongoing budget cuts in our reduced revenues. I did some research to try to find some new sources of revenue. And I discovered to my surprise that California is the only state in the nation that gives away our oil for free. Every other state in the nation charges oil companies an extraction fee for the privilege of extracting that oil and then selling it back to us for record profits. Texas, Texas, George Bush's Texas charges, charges an extraction fee and they raise $400 million a year for higher education, year after year after year. Even Sarah Palin in Alaska. Sarah Palin in Alaska recognizes that the oil companies can pay and she charges them 25%. Yeah, you can do it too! So, we, so I've decided, instead of talk, it's time for action. Yeah. Make a call! AB656 says, no more free ride, oil companies. 
It's time for all of you to join us in investing in California's future by paying 12.5%. Why all companies? I say, why not? But more importantly, I say this. Let's join the rest of the country in charging you a fee. Also, all companies are the best position to help. Two years ago, ExxonMobil was the most profitable company in the world. $45.6 billion a year. $45.6 billion in profits. The previous year was not as good a year. They only made $41 billion. It's time for the oil companies to join us and invest in our state's future, in our state's greatest resource. All of you, our young people. If we, if we intend on turning around our economy and creating jobs, surely we must invest in making sure that the young people in our colleges can create the next wave of technology and innovation to fuel the 21st century economy. Let me tell you something I heard that was very disturbing just last week. Two years ago, the University of California was ranked number one in the world among all research universities. Two years ago. Where are we ranked today? In the mid-30s. be part of the band here in Sacramento that's leading us down the path of being up. That's why, that's why AB 696 is not a traditional bill. It's not a traditional tax. AB 656 has turned into a movement owned by you. When I told people, when I said to people six months ago that we would collect 100,000 signatures in support of AB 656, People laughed, people scoffed, they giggled behind my back in the Capitol. Three months later, here we are, with 60,000 supporters.